morning everybody welcome back to alleyway it's or 50 first time here welcome to my channel oh my goodness you guys today we are going to disneyland paris i have dreamed of going here for so long i'm so excited that the day is finally here look at these little earrings that my mother-in-law got me how cute is that i'm just wearing a turtleneck and leather pants it's really cold here um and so i wanted to wear something that was like really comfy these pants feel like joggers i need to go get breakfast before we leave so let's go all right, we made it to an early breakfast. Back in one of our favorite rooms. Look at those orchids, just gorgeous. Okay, I got an acai bowl. Monero got scrambled eggs. Highly scrambled. And they were delicious the medium other day. Scrambled. Medium scrambled. Medium <laughs> scrambled. Or I think it's medium cooked. Yes, but they look amazing. And then my bowl looks great, let's get after it. Guys, look, we are in our ride. I feel like we're thinking the Disney magic started early with the ceiling, don't you? Yeah, that's awesome. It's amazing. So we booked through a company called VTC. Um, I don't have like a partnership with them or anything, but I will put the link in the description box in case you guys want to, because uh, it was really easy. And I can fit you guys in on some of the details after our experience and kind of give a full review. But look, how cool is this? You guys, we got here. I slept on the way. I slept in the car like a baby. I took Dramamine this morning to help with my emotional sickness. And I'm just like, I think it made me really tired, but now I'm on the high of being here and I'm just so excited. Look, you guys. Oh, there's the Disneyland Paris Hotel. Sorry, I'm shaking. I'm like so excited and kind of cold. You guys, I'm getting so emotional. One day I'm gonna come back and stay at this hotel. Currently it's under renovation, but also listen to this music. Oh. I'm feeling the magic, are you? Oh yeah, big time. It's happening, I'm so excited, I'm so happy. Guys, look up there, Tinkerbell. Oh, and the clock. Ah. We didn't realize it, but we actually were here for rope drop. So we got here right at 9 and it was opening at 9.30 and we just got kind of led into the area where we can scan our tickets. So I'm really excited about that because I thought that hotel guests would be here before and that we might have a lot of traffic. So we're doing great so far. We're going to hit Big Thunder first. I'm excited in Phantom Manor. But we'll kind of... That's our tentative plan. You know in Disney you can never plan too much. You gotta go with the flow. So, right now let's get in here. I'm just like, cannot believe it. Look at this. I guess these are the ticket counters. How cute is that? Okay, we had a little trouble with the scanner, but we're here. We are inside. Look at the 30th decorations. Oh, so beautiful. Gorgeous. There is a wall up here. The Christmas decorations are still up. I'm not sure what this wall is for, but look at Main Street. Oh, you guys, it feels like coming home. Isn't it great? And there she is, the castle. Mountain is on a five minute wait. Let's get in here. I'm gonna switch to the GoPro, but I'm really excited because I've heard that this is the best Big Thunder in the world. So let's just see about it, won't we? Thunder. We're on four. So I think we're pretty, I hope that we're close to the back. We're the back the is like, are we in the middle? Yeah. It's like wild in the back on Big Thunder, but we'll see where we are. Maybe the train comes in this way, so it might be closer to the front, but we're gonna ride again. We did get the premier access pass just because we're only here for one day. So we rope drop this because this is something we wanna ride more than once. So later when the park's a little bit more crowded, we'll use our pass to get on again.
really good. I want to go again. You can tell from my hair how intense that really is. That was crazy. I'm not even gonna look at our photo. I screamed my head off on there. Like we'll get it to our app, right? I think we should, but it might have to be that we linked our magic band. But we'll just see. I hope we do, and if not, we're gonna go to guest services in a little bit to get our magic band linked up. Um and then we'll be getting pics and everything. Look, I look crazy. But now we're going over to Phantom Manor, just cause it's right here, it's really close by. Um, and I've been really excited for it. You guys know Haunted Mansion is one of my favorite attractions. We both love Haunted Mansion. Yeah, I love that one. And Phantom Manor is supposed to be incredible. I can say Big Thunder now, this Big Thunder is number one for me. Oh uh, yeah, it was crazy. It was so much more intense than when it walked in we were both screaming. That's, it was on par with like Space Mountain, I think. I think so too. All right, let's go ride Phantom Manor. You guys, in the queue, there's this tiny little house that looks like it's set up for tea. <gasps> oh, and this queue is just gorgeous. But a fire rose. It appears everyone is doomed at Phantom Even Okay, I'm gonna film as much as I can on the ride, but it will be dark. Oh, this entrance. Constance the Bride, who I, I think her name's Constance, you guys correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, was a much bigger part of this, a bubble just like burst on my face, uh, a much bigger part of the story there. And a guy that looked like the Hatbox Ghost, I'm not quite sure what the background of the story is, but it was really interesting to see. It was a little, just a little bit more narrative, I think, than in Florida and in California. Really fun, very different. Okay, now we're, thank you Monroe for keeping me on track. Now we are headed over to Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones in Disneyland is one of my all time favorite Disney rides. I know this one's a bit different, so let's go see what it's like. Wow, you guys, this queue, I can see where it would get long. Look how cool it is. Kind of reminds me of Jungle Cruise a little bit. Okay. <laughs> we just went on Indiana Jones. You can't film on there. It was really short. There was not a lot of theming. But the track is intense. They have an inversion, and I feel like I feel like I can still feel the pressure of the inversion. It was crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, we're stopping off for a little drink, so we stay hydrated, and then we're gonna go do a few slow and easy rides. We're walking over to Pirates now because it's only on a five-minute wait. And look at this really cool pirate ship. And to get there, we walk through kind of a cave. <laughs> 
really cool. Monroe, I am shaken up after that inversion. I feel better now, but right afterwards, I was pretty dizzy. We stopped and got a Sprite in the water. because the line, or the line, the uh, ride itself is so long. It was really good, the drops were really nice and smooth, not too intense. It's a perfect follow up after getting beat up on Indiana Jones. Now we're gonna head over to Fantasyland and do some rides over there. Still really calm in the park, still really low wait times. So we're gonna try and take advantage of that while we can. I have to say, the smell of Captain Jack's restaurant, amazing. It smells so good. I don't know what they're cooking in there, but whatever it is, smells incredible. Now we're gonna head over to Peter Pan, get that one done. It's a 30 minute wait, but we're ready for like just a few minutes of downtime. Okay, the sun is out. Isn't this amazing? It's like our first day in Paris with full sun. Um, so it's 1040. We've been in the park for a little over an hour and we've ridden Pirates, Indiana Jones, Phantom Manor, and Big Thunder. We're just waiting, even though we have the uh, Premier Access Pass for Peter Pan, because we're gonna wanna do it a couple times. Um, but we're already getting hungry too. One thing I wanted to tell you guys that's kind of sad is uh, Small World and the Hyperspace. Hyperspace Mountain are both closed for refurbishment today. So we won't get to experience those, but hey, it's a good reason to come back. None of the track uh, audio was in English, and uh, the, the person behind us, because it seats four, put their flashlight on for the ride, and I, just as a courtesy, like, don't do that. Just don't do that if you're here. Now we're gonna go over, and we're going to go on the Pinocchio ride, because I've not been since it was in Disneyland a long time ago, so let's go. make a list essentially of the things we still need to do here because we do have the park hopper pass and are going to be switching over so we're going to try and get a game plan for what we're going to do after lunch. 
Oh yeah, it's time fam. It is time. Okay, we finished up at Casey's. The hot dog was good. Didn't you think the hot dog was pretty good? Yeah, it was good. It hit the spot. I think we were hungrier than we realized. Yeah, we needed it. And you guys know, like, I have been getting kind of sick every time I've gone to Disney. And I think it's just because I've been going too hard. So now we're gonna go stand in the line for Pinocchio. It's 25 minutes. So we're just gonna wait as our food digests, ride Pinocchio, do a few other things in Fantasyland, and then just try to, uh, yeah, excuse us, try and get a little bit more stuff done. We got our list at lunch, but look. Oh, that castle is just gorgeous, just gorgeous. Buzz was only on a 10 minute wait, so we came over here. We're gonna try and crush some Buzz, and then we walked all the way over to Discovery Land, but like I told you guys, Hyperspace Mountain is closed. So we need to find some other things to do here. There's the Autopia and the Orbitron. We're gonna just try and do a lot of stuff over here and then kind of see what we can get into next. film on Buzz, y'all are just going to have to hang with me and come back for the result. But we're going to go be in the moment and get a good score. Scanners detecting more trouble in Sector 9. No doubt it's the work of that nefarious crew. Mission accomplished, Space Rangers. It's been an honor serving the We got stopped on Buzz. It kept like kind of not breaking down. We got stopped multiple times. Yeah, and so we got to just sit there and like click on the target over and over. over and over, and we still didn't get a million. How are you people getting a million? How are you doing it? I really want to know. Now we are on to Star Tours. The wait's only five minutes, but we're gonna use our premiere access because the time's going so quickly today. can do like simulators hardly at all. I just closed my eyes on Star Tours, let it shake me around a little and I was fine. Let's go get on Autopia, get a little fresh air. I apologize for the bumpiness, but it's the authentic Autopia experience. Pedal to the metal, baby. <laughs> We're going for a top track time right here. We're going to set a record. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Blast. Now we're gonna use our pass for Buzz again. We're gonna try and beat our last score. Let's go. Are we gonna beat our last score, Monroe? Probably not. I hope we try. I hope we get stuck again. <laughs> worn out, uh, literally exhausted. To go 
under the castle and see the dragon. Let's go. Ooh, cool, you guys. Very cool. Come up the stairs behind the dragon. There's this cool little area here. There's also a gift shop. It's really unbearably crowded right now, but cool. Back for more at Peter Pan. for round two of Pirates. I have to say, it was so much nicer this time going on the ride without somebody having their flashlight out the entire time. There's little things in that ride that I picked up this time that are a little bit different from Florida. Um, and it was just so sweet. So we're gonna hit Pirates again because we really loved it this morning. And then we're gonna do Big Thunder, use our pass for that. And what was the other one there? Phantom Manor. We're gonna hit both those again stop in the shops on Main Street and then park hop because it's around three o'clock. So we're trying to like really evenly split the day um, because the park closes at 9.30 tonight. But we're gonna try and get back to the city a little bit early because we also have a big day tomorrow. But let's go ride pirates again. Studios now and try and cash in on some of our attractions over there. We're super excited. Excited to see what's going on. And um, what are you most excited for over here? Crush's Coaster. Crush's Coaster! If you watch theme parks worldwide, I always like love how he says Crush's Coaster. He's always like, first up, it's Crush's Coaster. <laughs> I love that. So now I always say it like, it's Crush's Coaster. <laughs> Uh, I'm really excited for uh, Ratatouille. Oh yeah, Ratatouille. That's gonna be awesome. All right, let's get over here. All right, we are here. Here is this main entrance area. If you leave the park and come to your right, you'll find the entrance. And we come out through here, and we have a partner statue front and center. Let's get in here and get some rides done. Did you see the gun get done? Fam, here we are at Avengers Campus. We're gonna start with Web Slingers first. Let's go. Here we go. About to sling some web. <laughs> are you ready to sling web, Monroe? You think we're just going? Hey. You're ready to sling web. You're gonna sling web like crazy, aren't you? I'm Sharon, the artificial intelligence that keeps this place running smoothly. 
Thanks for funding from Tony Stark, the brilliant young... Ici, chez Web, on a accès à une super technologie, comme celui du Wakanda, ou ce fluide extraterrestre dément. On a les particules de vie et... The ride is broken down right as we got into the like inside queue. So it's kind of like a bad use of the premier access pass. Um, but yeah, hopefully it gets going soon. It's been broken down for about 10 minutes. No webs were slung. It broke down. So they basically, we used our premier access so they just give you a ticket whether you used your premier access or not, which kind of stinks. So now we're just going to try to go to uh, Radisson. We decided to come down to the France Pavilion. It's so crazy because this is kind of like a mashup of Hollywood Studios and Epcot. And there's all these adorable little food pavilions. And then here we are at the Ratatouille ride. And we really want to go eat at Shea Remy, but we weren't able to get a reservation. We might try walking up, maybe, we'll see. Either way, I'm so excited. I love the Ratatouille ride. Now to those who are late to dinner. <laughs> Here comes our ride. Our chariot awaits. <laughs> Which side do you want to go on? I'll go on this side. Stopped off for a crepe with sugar at one of these little pavilions. We couldn't resist. It's our tradition. One sugar. Merci. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we got a crepe with sugar. It is delicious. I have to say, isn't it good? That's the best one. The one with sugar is just so simple and pure. It's so good every time. We're thinking about after this going on the cars ride because we can do a premier access for that. But we're just really taking it easy. My mission today was to stop, enjoy, and not get motion sick. So that's why I didn't do a lot of the spinners or drops. Like I just know my limits now after getting sick the last few trips that it's just not worth doing. Things like Tower of Terror for me, or um, like even Dumbo. So I might be showing you guys a little bit less, but we're having a really great time. Cutest Pixar. Land or Toy Story Land. I forget what they call it here. Look how cute. We have come over to the Cars ride. Just because I really need a minute after Remy's adventure. Because it does make me a little bit sick. So I need to just kind of like do something chill. So we're going to do this. I've heard mixed reviews. I'll come back and give you guys what we think. Bienvenue à Cars Road Trip, mais restez assis pendant toute la durée du voyage. Hello and welcome to Cars Road Trip, please remain seated during all the trip. Hola, bienvenue à Cars Road Trip, tell me, est-ce qu'on s'est à dos tout le viaje? 66, on prend son temps et on s'abandonne au plaisir de rouler.
Pater's Eiffel Tower. Honestly, that ride gets unwarranted hate. That was good. It was cute. It had really cool effects. And the heat felt so good today. It's starting to get really cold out. We're starting to get pretty tired. I don't know how much longer we're gonna last. We're gonna like kind of walk through. We're going back to Web Slingers because it's back up. And then we are going to do Crush's Coaster. And then I think maybe just shop a little. We might head out, might head out early because like I said, we have a big day tomorrow. So just trying to, trying to be responsible and rest. We actually happened upon Crush's Coaster. So we're gonna do that while we're over here just because we were kind of close. Um, yeah, we've got, we're gonna use our Premier Access Pass for that and Web Slingers. And then the only other one that we have that I'm not planning on using, like I told you guys, is Tower of Terror. I just, as I've aged, I've just gotten more and more susceptible to motion sickness. So sorry I'm not showing you guys everything. I really do feel bad about it, but just trying to, trying to feel good. For Crush's coaster, the Premier Access really helped. It cut off a lot of the line, but I still think we're gonna have a little ways to wait because they walk you upstairs and then you go down these stairs through a hall and load in there. Which is totally awesome! It happened. Crush's coaster is is very, very intense, wouldn't you say, Monroe? It's really intense and short. Yes. Which is good. It's, it's not too long. And it's similar to Space Mountain in that you're in like a dark room and we got in the park going backwards. I feel so nauseous. So it just, is, yeah, it rotates, but if you start out facing backwards, you pretty much spend most of the time backwards. backwards yeah. So if you are, I think I would have done better to be facing forward. But we're just going to take a little break. Take a little break. We're just gonna do web slingers. That's like the last attraction that I know won't make me sick. And then kind of see what, what we're gonna do from there. All right, we're gonna try this again. Take web slinging, two. yeah, take two is right. Here we go. We're gonna go focus on web slinging. We absolutely crushed it. My arms are on fire. My arms are here. We stopped in. We tried to go to Bistro Shea Remy, but it was closed. Now we're just looking at some merch because we haven't bought anything. We want to get like a Christmas ornament, and maybe I've been wanting a sweatshirt. This one is really cute, this Pluto one. If we end up finding anything, I'll let y'all know. Here's some 30th merch, t-shirt. This is for a dog, a backpack, spirit jersey baggy. And just like that, fam, another Disney day is done. We stopped into World of Disney for some merch. And now we're headed back to Paris. Fam, we got in. We are exhausted. I've got a crazy story to tell you about when we were leaving. Uh, but yes, now we got room service. Monroe got a burger. I got chicken nuggets. Um, <laughs> yeah, we just needed some comfort food. So we're gonna go enjoy this. And then I'll tell you guys our crazy story about leaving Disney. Okay guys, room service is nice. We got cleaned up. We're going to bed early-ish tonight. It's around 10 o'clock. We're getting up early tomorrow to get ready to go to Versailles. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I love you guys more than I can say. And I can't wait to see you next time right here on Alleyways. Bye.